when I drove down this very bumpy, rough road to get here to Deer Lake, which is um, up above Little Cultus Lake. Another spot right here. Perfect little tent area. Fire pit. And easy access with the kayaks. Oh. <laughs> well, we're partying now. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad I have my tarp up. I'm also glad I didn't go on that bike ride yet. <laughs> so this trail is really cool. Uh, Deer Lake is what it is. Down down the road from Low Little Cultus Lake. But yeah, this trail so far, I'm just a little ways away from where I'm camping. And the sun's out finally. And it looks really really amazing here there's nobody around the lake is beautiful and uh i can't wait to see what else it does i know it further down it splits off and uh, goes to cultus lake and then then it heads off kind of south southwest it looks like and there's just in this area there's like dozens and dozens of lakes heading towards the trail over there so yeehaw Makes sense when I was looking at the map. It would be called the Mini Lakes Trail because there are many, many lakes just that way. So no bikes, no drones, that way. Wilderness permit needs to be filled out. Taylor Burn Road. So, that trail I just rode down from Deer Lake all the way to Cultus Lake here it was really cool. It's a really fun little ride. It's like very kind of windy, tight, roller coastery, almost downhill the whole way, kind of gracefully downhill. Not too bad, not super steep. So the ride out won't be horrendous, but it still will be a lot of work. It's only about a mile and a half so far. So I made it here to Cultus Lake. I've never been here before. Apparently this is all, um, all these people are camping here. There's a campground right inside these trees. Um, but you get here by boat. You have to shuttle everything in from the road resort across the lake over there somewhere, I think. I think that's how it works. again and it's actually cold and the mosquitoes have been kind of assholes so I have to kind of keep figuring out ways to deal with them but hey got Jack White in the box and it's not too bad it's not too bad
5, 8 a.m. Let's go find that South Sister, all right? Well, here's what happened as soon as I got to the trailhead. I was gonna get out and make coffee and oatmeal. <laughs> it just started pouring. There's the the view of mountains. So it's all socked in right now. So I'm gonna get my pillow and my ba my blankie. I'm gonna take a nap. So we begin the South Sister Trail. Whew, man, this is a grind. <laughs> it is just up and up and up. We're going to pass a few people that turned around to forget it. A little flat part for a few minutes. It's clouding up again. I hope it doesn't start raining. It looks like it, uh, when I woke up from my nap and looked at the, I could see the part of the South Sister and it was, had fresh snow on it. <laughs> uh, that'll be interesting. Like we're potentially <laughs> about to the top of the tree line. Find out in a minute. There she is. Sounds like there's only like five people in front of me. I just passed some people that said that's all they counted. So far, everybody. I don't know, I've passed about 20 people coming down. Nobody's summited yet. So if I was there right now, it'd be perfect, looks like. the top go <laughs> huh we'll see bachelor's pretty socked in over there you can see sparks lake now way off it looks like probably crane prairie way over there and uh i don't know to look at the map to figure out for sure what those are I don't know. This party might be over. It's gonna be thunder and lightning, potentially or probably, <laughs> pretty soon. So, dang it. Hey, it's uh, about 11:30, I guess, right now.
There's the false summit, almost there. Surprised there's nobody camping down there. There's like 18 or 20 camp spots available, marked by posts, but there's nobody down there. So I made it to the false summit, which let's see if you can, which is oh boy, let's zoom in. see it but I can't really describe it <laughs> but it was just totally socked in when I was up there so all right well didn't make it to the summit but got to the fall summit first time I'd been up here didn't want to be up there in the thunder and lightning so I uh bagged it once I got there but I'll be back really cool really cool hike and it's a workout it's exhausting <laughs> that's for sure my body's nice and tired I think I've gone about uh, by the time I've done 10 miles a little over 10 miles but it was just the grind up 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 5,000 four or five thousand feet five thousand feet yeah five thousand feet I think it is yeah, anyway, there you go.